Okay, guys, I got off work a few minutes early, which means I've got a few minutes to go thrifting. Martin Man. Martin Man. Treasures. see something you haven't seen before guys something you don't know what it is look it up um this c-o-k-o-n obviously it's not in english right but if you look this up on the back y-k-p-a-i-h-a that's ukraine so this is a vintage ukrainian hockey jersey um we're, we're gonna pick this up Okay, guys, so I picked up a couple shirts. I picked up actually three. I picked up this one, too. I loved it. I couldn't leave it behind. It's for me, obviously, but I only got two shirts out of Goodwill. Now, one of them is going to be a long tail, but potentially very, very good, but I didn't want to leave you with a video with just two shirts. So what we're going to do is visit the little old lady thrift store. It's a church thrift. It's actually called the Bargain Basement. It's been closed for months uh, but they've reopened. I noticed uh, that they reopened last week. I was thinking maybe I'd get in before the crowd, but judging by uh, the number of cars in this little bitty parking lot, words out. So let's go in. Let's see if we can find anything. There's usually not a ton in here, but I found some gems here and there. So let's go look. Simple fit board. I don't really know anything about paintings. See back of paintings. Yeah, they took it. Out of a calendar. Four bucks. I haven't actually had great luck with them. Okay, guys, we found some movies. <laughs> we'll go over these here in a little bit. We did good. I just said, I don't care. Yeah, these are too much because I know where the blood is going. Look like the insurance deductible. Yeah, insurance So you find some good vintage games here. Sure, I was going to ask you how much you wanted. You're in charge. Yeah. 
I'm just glad you're back up and open. Yes, ma'am, I did. I looked through them all. Yeah, it looked like somebody must have had a collection. Oh, you're just trying to get me to grab more stuff. I am. I am. We'll fill <laughs> I, your box. I, I know how you work. That's right. So this might be the most I've ever pulled out of there. Um, we'll get home and we'll take a look. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. I said, hey. Oh, what's going on? So first, let's take a look at the shirts we got yesterday at Goodwill, guys. This first one, Duke's Surf Club and Waikiki. This is the back of the shirt. It's on an old anvil tag. The front just has, you know, that little graphic. Uh, this does have sold comps. Um, this ought to go for about 20 bucks. And it's an XL, which obviously a fantastic size. And then this that fell off, this is that old Ukrainian hockey jersey. Why... I, why I'm finding a Ukrainian hockey jersey in Helena, Montana? No idea. Uh, it, it, it does have some wear to it. It's got some fade. It, this used to be really bright. Uh, but it's still so cool. There's one listed right now for $89.99 in beautiful condition. But there's a sold comp of this particular one in what looks like this condition for uh, well they took a best offer off of 69.99 so not sure what they took there's ways to find that out but there's a home version of this the home would be um, from jerseys typically the home jersey is white is the predominant color and then the road jerseys are the colors so there's a home version of this that sold uh, for 40 bucks i think it was 39.99 so i'm gonna guess that's about what i can get out of this is 40 bucks not bad off of a two dollar shirt all right so here we are got the stuff laid out for you of course the we guitar this is a gibson four and you can see on the back that's upside down but you can see it it's guitar hero as so these things sell used very very well and they pretty much always work as long as the the little whammy bar here is intact you're good so this is going to sell for 30 to 35 bucks really really quickly um, this is the other non-movie that we got. These Pendleton glasses. Um, I don't really like Pendleton. It's a Canadian blended whiskey. Um, well, it says that right there, doesn't it? I, I don't really love it, but, uh, you know, a lot of people do. And these are relatively rare. This is a pretty large, this is a heavyweight glass. There's a, only one that's similar to this. The, uh, Bronc on the bottom isn't colored in red on theirs. And I think that makes mine a little bit better. They're trying to sell theirs for $29.99. So I can probably price it at the same and see if they want the colored in bronc or the clear bronc like those other folks have. And I have two of them. So, um, you know, I'd, I'd take an offer of $25 on them, right? And that's our money back right there. Then we look at the movies. And we've got some good movies. I've sold Vikings before individually, some of the individual seasons. They were new, the ones I sold. I did sell a couple of used. But what I might do is we've got seasons one through four, so I might just lot those up and sell them together. You can get five or six bucks plus shipping on those, but I might try and lot them up, sell them for about 30 bucks. And then we've got this one from the History Channel, The Secret Access to the Vatican uh, this one is probably about a $10 free shipping. It's it's pretty basic, but it sells pretty well. 
This Balthazar season one or series one, I guess, because it's a British show from Acorn TV. Uh, there is a new sold comp of this, or a couple of them actually, I think, for 35 bucks. So for used, you got to think we could get at least 15 or 20 off of that. Um, this one, let's see. And then we're getting dings. Uh, to serve them all my days. This one, right about 15 bucks. This Pius the 12th. This one sells pretty well. I think we ought to get between $10 and $15 for that one. Uh, Beecham House. That one's probably a $10 plus shipping out of PBS. That's a, a, a good tip, I suppose, is look at these that are PBS. This one's Acorn History. This one is History. Look for those that are going to be a little bit harder for people to find that maybe aren't streaming. Often those are worth something. BBC stuff can be worth something. This Nightfall, this was a really good series, actually. And I don't know if it's streaming anymore, so it may go up in value. This is Nightfall. It's season one and season two. We ought to be able to get about 20 bucks if we sell those together. Uh, Maximilian and Marie de Bourgeon. Yeah. Um, this one is a six-part Mini series. I think this one is probably about 20 bucks plus shipping. Africa's Great Civilizations. This actually has a very good sell through rate at about $15 free shipping. The Last Kingdom. We've got seasons one through four of this. There's a sold comp for about, I think it was $46 new. So again, you know, we put it at 25, 30 bucks and we ought to be able to move that pretty easily. And then Mr. Selfridge, just with Jeremy Piven uh, off of PBS. This one, I think we ought to be able to get about, eh, probably about 25 bucks off of that. So not bad, right? I really like selling media, guys. A lot of people stay away from it. They say, hey, there's no value in that. You know what? I think I just proved they're wrong. The other day, the first three things we sold in our store, DVDs, one of them was 30 bucks, another for you know 16 or 17 bucks. This stuff absolutely sells. It's an easy thing to list, easy thing to store, super easy thing to ship. So uh, I was kind of glad that we fell into those today. I'm going to let you go, but we do have one quick thing. We have a, uh, a package that came for us. Let's check that out. All right, we've got something in the mail, just from Tina. It actually showed up on Saturday, but I didn't have a chance to get over there to it. I think that is for you. Mm, I do have peanut M&Ms. I know what that is. Take that out. I know what that is. It's not peanut M&Ms. I know what that is. I've talked with her before about this. She makes these. I know. They're like the, it's the, um. It's a zipper pouch. I know, but it's the, um, what am I trying to say? It's the, the bag that the I know. Come Look, in. it's lined with something too. How I know. Cool she is lined that? it, yeah. With some fabric. And then this is the actual. That is so cool. And then she made one out of the Reese's cups, which I also like. I know. I, she had some insider information. I know. I'm going to use these for my new pencil. <laughs> that is pouches. so cool. Is Tina cool. makes these and. Obviously, she is very good at this. She's talented, yeah. Like How that. cool is that? That's pretty cool. Greetings from Titletown. Please enjoy and close the candy bag pouches for the cows. Just found the Dakin item you can sell if you like. Hope Roxanne is feeling better working on getting my eBay store going. Thanks for all you share. So she found a Dakin, which is an old plush. That is so cool. I don't think I'll sell that. I think he's he's from the Olympics. Is it Atlanta? Yep. Look at that. I remember. That's the uh, the mascot from the the Atlanta Olympics. That was the Olympics where Michael Johnson set the new world record in the two hundred meter. I got shivers watching that guy run. I was a track guy, so that was amazing. And look at that. It's an abs bear. Tina knows I'm an abs fan. That is awesome. That's going to go out and live in uh, the eBay space, I'm sure. And then, oh, look at Tina. My, my wife is going to be so excited. <laughs> You've supplied me with another hat. I have nails on the wall in the garage to hang on my hats, and I don't have enough nails. So I'm actually wearing my Mountain Dew hat, as you've seen right now. So I've got a new one, and I can color coordinate better. Thank you, Tina. That's so cool. Um, you guys don't have to send anything. Uh, that, that's really, really neat. So thank you so much for both the cool stuff and the handmade goodies for my girls. Uh, that's all we got for you today, guys. I sure appreciate you. We'll see you next time.